Hi, it's Matt from Matt Hickey Photography here, just with another tutorial on keyboard usage. So as you start to edit your images, you'll want to, to improve your workflow, get quicker and quicker, saving time wherever you can. So with this, I'm just showing you how much my hands move around on the keyboard, as well as with my tablet. So just here I'm naming the first two layers I normally use, just our background fixes and skin fixes layers. Just correct that wording there. Okay, so first thing I'll do is actually hit J for the spot healing tool. And I'm using Alt Option and Control there to make my brush size bigger or smaller and also use the hardness of the brush. Okay, holding the spacebar, which I'll zoom into the image first, just using command plus and minus. And now I can use the spacebar to move around the image. So just the spot healing tool there to remove a little sensor blemish. Okay, and just using the spacebar and dragging to move around the image. Much quicker than trying to grab your scroll bars. Okay, just looking for any obvious background blemishes. I'll flick over to the skin fixes layer now. And just again with the J tool, uh, sorry, J for spot healing. And I'll use the Alt Option key to sample an area of skin that I want to use to go over the blemish I want to remove. So working around the neck here you'll see me just hit the target which is alt option and you'll see the target there that's where it's going to use the texture from when I paint over the area I want to remove the blemish from so I'll just graduate that slightly just sampling different areas getting the texture I want So using these shortcuts really does make your workflow a lot quicker. As you can see just down the bottom left hand corner there I'm using a Logic Keyboard template. Uh, Logic Keyboard produce keyboard templates for Photoshop uh, and a few other quite popular applications. Uh, just so it's a visual representation of all the keyboard shortcuts you can do. So again, I'm just using the Alt Option key to sample an area and resizing my brush there by holding Control Alt Option down. Now by moving left and right while holding the Control Alt Option key will change the size of your brush, while going up and down will change the hardness of the brush. You'll see throughout the video that I'll actually use this quite a bit. So just removing some little blemishes around the chin area. I've always got my hand close to the left hand side of the keyboard there. The space bar, alt option and control keys I use quite a lot in my processing work. Okay, just creating a new layer. This is going to be a semi-transparent layer. So the client wanted me to just minimize some of the facial features. So this, I'll go through and completely remove the blemishes in question. And also I'll grab these little wrinkles just around uh, underneath the eye area. Now I'm completely removing them here but I'll bring the opacity back in the layer to bring those features back through just a little more subtly just to minimize the uh, the impact of those blemishes okay so now I'll bring that opacity back to around 30 40 percent Selecting the skin fixes layer again, just going around doing some more spot healing. Just 
just to remove any blemishes and again holding down the space bar to move around command minus to zoom back out make sure the changes that I'm doing look okay command Z is also a very handy keyboard shortcut that just undoes uh, an undo sorry of the last action in your history and if you want to go back further you can do alt option command Z and that will keep stepping backwards as many times as you press Z and there we go thanks for watching this quick tutorial on how much I use the keyboard along with the Wacom tablet thanks very much <laughs>